Hello, and welcome to the Daily Devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Kirstein. Our text for today is the Epistle reading from the fourth Sunday of Easter, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 11 through 20. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you should put to silence the ignorance of foolish people. Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil, but living as servants of God. Honor everyone, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the emperor. Servants, be subject to your masters with all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the unjust. For this is a gracious thing when mindful of God, one endures sorrow while suffering unjustly. For what credit is it if when you sin and are beaten for it, you endure? But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is a gracious thing in the sight of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here in these verses, St. Peter talks about doing good deeds, doing good deeds that the world would see and then glorify God on the day of visitation. Here St. Peter is recalling the words of our Lord from Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. St. Peter is teaching us that by holy living and by doing good works, this is a witness to the world. Now we have to be careful when we're talking about this because in our present age, there is the idea that there are certain good works that are outreach works or mission works, which are better than normal good works. Things like short-term mission trips or perhaps going canvassing in your neighborhood, going door to door knocking and handing out religious tracts. We shouldn't think of these good works, which they are still good to do, but we shouldn't think of them as somehow higher or better than the good works that God has given us to do in our vocations. Any, any place that we find ourselves in life where God has given us good works to do, we should do them. We know this, St. Peter teaches this, because immediately after talking about these good deeds that the world might see, he begins to talk about submission to authority. So it is a good witness when Christians are good citizens when they subject themselves to the authorities that God has put in their lives. He also talks about servants being subject to their masters with all respect, with all respect. In this way, servants by holy living are a witness to Jesus. From this, St. Peter also goes into a table of duties where he outlines the duties and roles and to whom authority and respect is owed in the various stages of life. You can find a really good table of duties in your small catechism. Mine begins with the table of duties, section three, on page 35. Dr. Luther writes that the table of duties are certain passages of scripture for various holy orders and positions, admonishing them about their duties and responsibilities. So he has a section here addressed to pastors, to people who hear their pastors, so parishioners, 
people who are in charge in the government, citizens, husbands and wives, parents, children, workers of all kinds, employers and supervisors, youth, widows, and everyone. In each of these places, in each of these vocations, the Lord has given us good works to do. When the world sees these good works, they give glory to our Father who is in heaven. In this way, these good works are a witness of our risen Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. The works that God has given us to do in our various stages in life, whether it be husband or wife, parents or children, workers of any kind, government officials, youth, widows, or anyone, we should rejoice that God has given us these works to do, for they are infinitely more valuable than works that we make up, works that we tell ourselves are outreach works or mission works. God has given us certain and specific works to do that he values more highly than anything we can make up ourselves. And for this, we should rejoice. For these works please our Father who is in heaven and are a witness to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.